because if Towns dropped 25 or more game seven, we're winning. If Towns dropped 25 or more game seven, the Timberwolves are winning that game. Ending coach. And right here, Carl Anthony Towns has to be patient. Towns. He's patient for score. Towns is seven foot. Who who is that? Contavious Caldwell Pope yeah. and Reggie Jackson or something? If you don't score that basketball, we need 20 plus from you. 20 plus and 10 plus. So to lead. I'm, right there. I'm, I'm gonna say that exact man. Looking looking at that possession, right? It felt like on that losing streak, Minnesota forgot to use their size. They forgot to use their size, y'all. As soon as y'all get one of them mismatches, let one of them big men eat, okay? That's easier and easy. And welcome back to Bitch of Entertainment, man. As you can see on the screen, I am going to be reacting to the Timberwolves versus the Nuggets game six. And okay, I know y'all kind of wondering where I've been at. I know y'all probably kind of wondering why I chose to come back on game six. <laughs> Lots of reasons. First of all, I don't want to say I've been hiding. <laughs> But things got a little iffy for a while, you feel me? Things got... Listen, though, I did make a video, uh, it wasn't reacting to the game, it was reacting to various, uh, sports analysts. Uh, it got copyright strike, couldn't drop that, uh, but obviously, obviously I was gonna come back because, you know, we T-Wolves are die, baby! T-Wolves all the way, baby! Let's go, T-Wolves! Uh, I've been watching in the shadows. I've been watching in the shadows. And I ain't been liking what I've been seeing, okay? So, I'm going to get this video started. Uh, We're going to watch and see, because I know they won, all right? I know they won, but I got to uh, I gotta see it to, uh, to so I can put in perspective what Game 7 is going to look like. You feel me? You feel me? But uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Let's get to the video. No, no, no. <laughs> A little fake out from Mark Davis, and game six is underway. But that means that you have to be so locked in on people off ball. Here's Towns, five to shoot, lobbing it up to Gobert for the flush. A little slow to get back on D, and Edwards can't make Denver pay. Here's Jokic, the flick ahead. Murray finds Jokic to the rim. Just to touch on something you talked about with the adjustments on Jokic from Chris Finch as Porter gets free for the slam. He said, look, yeah, we are going to have to double him more. Not only are we going to have to double him more, but we're going to have to put Carl Anthony Towns on him more as well. And Pat needs to stay out of foul trouble so that that's an option for us. As Jokic plods inside and flips it in. Don't have it. He has been woefully cold from three in the series. Now two for 13. Porter, he got it. What a start for Denver and a timeout taken by Minnesota. Here's Towns, double comes as it has. Now Gordon. McDaniels say, dares to shoot it and shoot. rattles it in. That, that is what Minnesota they said needs. On that little thing there, they double teamed and swag. they kicked and the ball say, out. It's kind of a triple bit, switch. Not, not complete. And now a steal. This could be fun. Hurts to the rack. Town shuffling towards space, lobbing oh. it up to Gobert, who blew the bunny. Another chance. Towns can't finish. Tapped out to McDaniels. He'll lay it in. A 7-0 Minnesota run. Towns the fake, the take, and the slam. And when I tell you that outstanding. Towns, if Towns drop 25 or more game seven, we're winning. If Towns dropped 25 or more game seven, the Timberwolves are winning that game. Ending coach, he's going to get his opportunity, so I know Finch has a lot of belief in him. That's why he can sit back there and be quiet. Oh, Conley gets the roll, and then Towns will. Can't hit. Rebound kept alive. Conley to Edwards. Corner three is good. Anthony Edwards was grimacing a little bit after that last possession. Looks fine there. Towns lumbering, lobbing, Gobert finishing. Minnesota defense looking more like what it did in games one and two and throughout the season. Edwards storms in That's a and foul. uses the window. That's a, That's a oh, in the, the first whistle. for Anthony Edwards. And now a steal. Reed bounces ahead. McDaniels to the rack. Two to shoot. Murray spinning. Has to force it up. How about... That Timberwolves D. Edwards a three. You bet. 
A 27-2 marathon for Minnesota as Caldwell Pope finally sinks a three of its last 13 possessions. And right here, Carl Anthony Towns has to be patient. Now he's chasing for four. Towns is seven foot. Who, who is that? Contavious Caldwell Pope and Reggie Jackson or something? If you don't score that basketball, we need 20 plus from you. 20 plus and 10 plus. Minnesota lead facing elimination. Edwards at 14 in that first on the bench to start the second. Murray finally drops one in. Forcing him into misses. You got to get the rebounds like they did earlier on this first quarter. And another offensive rebound. Jokic gets fouled and flips it in. A chance for three for the MVP. Well, and that just, you need a little bit more maturity. You need a little bit more experience, you know, so you can weather those storms. And also not having Conley, that calming voice, did not help as Aaron Gordy knocks down though. a three. And now. Reed, Euros, floats, can't hit, got it back, put it in. Minnesota hasn't shot it well from three either, but they've dominated every other facet of the game. Here's oh. Edwards in the corner, connects. That's a nice move. On a three. That's a nice move. So they got to skip out and allow for the defense to recover. He needs to start working more at the top of the team. Porter swims in, banks it home, and a chance for three for Michael Porter Jr. Everybody else has struggled for Denver, mostly Murray, one of ten. Conley connects on a three. 23-point Minnesota lead. Porter through the lane again, meets Gobert, finds Gordon. He got it. Another three from Aaron Gordon, his second of the night. Minnesota by far and away the best defensive team in the league this season. McDaniels the cross and the finish. Lead back to 24 for the Timberwolves. Jokic able to flip it in, plus the border. Into Gordon, good movement here. Good rotation for Minnesota. Jokic flips it in, 16 for the three-time MVP. Instead, Minnesota will have it. Lee can't hit, McDaniels does at the buzzer. Watching a chance for a little Denver momentum. Now looking more like what we saw the first two games when he shot 28% from the floor, 25 from three. The last three had been at 50% from the floor and 42 from three as McDaniels rocks the rim. Jokic out to Murray. Murray finds Gordon for the slam. Swing, swing, open shot. McDaniels up to 18. Edwards on the steal. Oh. Edwards, oh, what a move to the rack! Minnesota lead their largest of the night. Murray, three to shoot. Murray trying to find space to the corner. Caldwell Pope drains the three on a beautiful dart from Murray. Jaden McDaniels, he doesn't get any press. Now watch this triple switch. He's going to go, and then Aaron Gordon's going to kick out. Go back! Flushes it down. Caldwell Pope. That right there, I'm, I'm gonna say that exact man. Looking, looking at that possession, right? It felt like on that losing streak, Minnesota forgot to use their size. They forgot to use their size, y'all. As soon as y'all get one of them mismatches, let one of them big man eat, okay? That's either an easy two. Well, we're going to move the ball around and we're going to find the easy two or an open three. You feel me? On that and don't one. be scared to use that size, man. Murray, a clean look. Is good. Jamal Murray needed that. It was one of 11 from the floor and 0 for 4 from 3. Into the corner, McDaniels. You bet. Right now, Denver is struggling to get anyone really going outside of Jokic, who hasn't been that aggressive offensively. Edwards! Murray quickly into it. All right, Jamal Murray with a confident stroke. Had been two for 14. Yet to score in the third. Jokic lays it in. 18 for Nikola Jokic. Edward Short and Caldwell Pope the board. Well, their bench is 0 for 2, 0 for 4, 0 for 2. Murray, slick handle, and the floater is good for Jamal Murray. Downs, 
looking for space. Denver's in a zone right now. They're just kind of in a matchup zone, passing players off, trying to slow down the Minnesota offense, and it is not working. Jokic lumbers in, misses the flip, not the tip. Especially with teams that are as evenly matched as the Denver Nuggets and the Minnesota Timberwolves are. And that's what Chris Finch was talking to us about is Christian Brown. We all thought this was going to be a six or seven game series. The journey here doesn't matter. All that matters is where Man, here. Man, I'm a very step back in the door. He's killing with that. 27 now tonight. Under 33% from the floor overall. Gobert, center of the lane, lays it in. Timeout, Denver. Rudy Gobert. Towns, Gobert, and Reed have 34 rebounds, 35 now. And the Denver team has 34. Then they have championship players, and this is what it's all about. Putting yourself in this position to go, and this is why you do all that work as you knock down the little pull-up. We know they ain't catching up. We know they ain't catching up. This is what I got to say, man. Game seven. Game seven. Be ready, man. Y'all need to be ready. Uh, I feel like we 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 gonna have to play offense, efficient offense. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna have to use our size. Uh, keep Towns guarding Gobert. I mean, keep Towns guarding Nikola Jokic because Gobert, his his hand eye coordination or some, you know, he's a giant. You ever watch the movies with the giants and they move so like, ooh, and all. that's that's Rudy Gobert. You feel me? Like he gonna get his blocks and stuff, and he gonna do some giant man stuff because he's a giant. But when it comes to hand eye coordination, you know, uh. Also, we going to need Towns. We going to need Towns because uh, game seven, I feel like uh, Jamal Murray ain't going to play like this. Jamal Murray ain't going to play like this. We need 25 plus from Towns and 10 rebounds. And we going to win. I'm not necessarily even worried about it. I'm confident Ant going to be able to do what Ant do. You know what I'm saying? But if we don't at least get 20 plus from Towns and 10 plus rebounds, we're not going to win that game. Uh, Game seven is going to be intense. Game seven gonna be intense. Y'all gonna ask me right now, what's my prediction? What do I think is gonna happen? Listen, I know, I know this say Minnesota Vikings. This don't say the T Wolves. I'm gonna go grab me a T Wolves, Joey. I'm gonna go grab me a T Wolves. But listen, T Wolves a die. <laughs> T Wolves a die. Wolves in seven. Wolves in seven. Wolves in seven. Uh, yeah, man. Listen, you know what it is. I got faith in Towns. I got faith in Ant. Uh, they started making adjustments. I even go lie. When we was on that losing streak, I was watching it, and it just seemed like they weren't making any adjustments. All of a sudden, Nikola Jokic turned it on, and it was just like, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. But I got faith in our defense. I got faith in our offense, and I got the faith in our two stars, man. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. We out.